stop by and remind you about something that I'm so excited about. I get excited anytime I get to work with people and help them achieve their goals. It is what drives me. Uh, the passion of changing the world. Sometimes one person at a time. Sometimes I have this uh, opportunity to move in groups uh, sometimes large groups and still accomplish much and to help people change their lives. It's about helping people live the best possible life they can live at any given moment. That means fully actualizing your potential. How many of you, if you were honest with yourself, could admit that one of the greatest inhibitors, one of the greatest forces moving against you in the accomplishing the, in the accomplishment of unbelievable, spectacular, phenomenal, and extraordinary things is procrastination. The simple inability to take action when action is required. Procrastination is present on so many levels in so many places and so many people that it's become normal. It's become a natural justification. It's not only a justification, we come up with reasons to justify it as a justification and we don't realize. Let me explain something to you. This life that you've been given to live, while it is only a part of true eternal existence, it's a monumental part of it. It's a small blot in time in which you get to change the world forever. Let me, let, let me frame it for you. There have been those people who took their 30, 40, 60, 80 years, 100 years on this planet and shifted paradigms, shifted worldviews, touched lives at a level that there will be Mother Teresa, Malcolm X, and I can go, the list and list goes on about people we talk about who's been dead for years, sometimes centuries. Why? Because they came here and they decided that they were going to put their print on history. And, and, and that became their legacy. But see, no matter how you're living like, no matter where you aspire to go, in order to build this legacy, this thing that will speak of you long after you're gone, you're going to have to take you're going to have to take action. The inability to take action will freeze you. It will, it will paralyze you. It will rob you of that thing that's precious, your time. So you've got a small block of life. 90 years, 100 years is a short period in the scope of eternity, in the scope of history, in the scope of the future. But you have that time. Now let me explain something. 86,400 seconds. 86,400 seconds. That's how many seconds are in a day. Now, how you engage each and every one of those seconds is going to determine the outcome of your life. When you start looking at life from the perspective that every second has purpose, you start to shift how you think when you spend your time. What do you think? I'm not saying that you don't sleep, that you grind 100% of the time. That's not what I'm saying. Sleep has a purpose. You need to learn how to use sleep to empower you, to invigorate you, to restore you, to make sure that you are rested and recovered. Sleep is necessary. Even if you have to get it in a nap in the middle of the day, it's a part of life. Enjoying time with family and entertaining yourself is a part of a process that you need, but you don't need to overindulge in things that cannot produce intrinsic value in your life. That's the thing that you've got to come to grips with. What am I doing that creates intrinsic value, measurable value in my life that will contribute to the work that I want to do, the things I want to accomplish, the things I want to have. There is absolutely nothing wrong with aspiring to wealth and aspiring to own some things that you consider nice and you want them. But it should come as a part of a greater process. It should just be the side effect of your success. The things you accumulate 
on a material level should be side effects of your natural success. The things you're doing to help people change their lives, help people become stronger and better, more efficient and more effective in the way they live their lives in every possible manner. Everybody has a gift. And when you start to use that gift to help people, money will come. Money is a side effect of doing things a certain way at a certain level and achieving a certain type of result for others. It's a result of being able to provide a solution to a problem that a certain number of people have. It's all there. So what am I getting at? I'm saying that you have to get beyond procrastination. People procrastinate. For a lot of different reasons. People procrastinate out of fear of failure. People procrastinate out of fear of what other people are going to think of them. People procrastinate because of uncertainty. People procrastinate because they've been given the idea that there's a perfect opportunity that exists somewhere in this universe for them. There's no such thing as a perfect opportunity. There's no such thing. There's so no such thing as the perfect timing. That's not how this works. You decide something needs to be done and you take action. You're going to sometimes get an immediate result. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you're going to get a, 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 an undesirable result, but you make adjustments. The one thing you can't do is be paralyzed by the moment. You cannot be paralyzed by the moment. Here's the thing. I'm going to, in this masterclass that I've created, to help you break the curse of procrastination, we're going to identify what's causing your procrastination. It's something there at the core. We're also going to identify how you've been reinforcing your proclivity to procrastinate by the small little things you procrastinate about every day. Procrastination is like anything. You train yourself to habitually procrastinate. So what happens if you procrastinate about doing the laundry. You procrastinate about going to the grocery store. You procrastinate about doing something at your job. You Everything is about, well, maybe not now. Maybe this, maybe that. And what happens is you train yourself to, to, to avoid and go around anything uncomfortable, anything that you've got to actually invest something in you don't feel like doing at the time. You train yourself to procrastinate. Well, what do you think is going to happen when it's time to make that move? It's time to leave your job and go to the next job in order to advance your career. It's time to get involved in, in, in your marriage. It's time to make a decision about being a parent. It's time to make a decision about starting a business. What do you think you're going to do even when you make up in your mind you're going to start the business? You're going to procrastinate in all of the steps of developing and building your business. You're going to end up being behind and becoming frustrated. You're going to end up saying it's not for you. No, it, it it is for you, but you've got to work for it. You've got to take action where action is required. This is not about something that you sit up and you just move through. Life is about engagement. You get out of life what you what, what, what you put into it. I tell people all the time, life will pay you whatever price you demand of it. Whatever price you demand of life, whatever it is you want from life, you, you demand it, you can have it. Here's the thing, though. When you make a demand on life for what you want, I want a better marriage. I want a million dollar business. I want to be number one in my industry. Life is going to say, okay, I got you. Because nothing can be withheld from you. Absolutely nothing. But life is going to turn around and give you counter demands. Life is going to say, okay, you want to improve your marriage. You want a better marriage. You need to come in earlier. You need to invest more in understanding what your mate needs from you, what your mate expects from the relationship. You need to do X, Y, Z. It's gonna call on you to pay a price and it will deliver the price you demanded. But you have to be willing to meet the demands. That means you cannot procrastinate. You cannot sit on it. You cannot move around it. There's no such thing as comfort and excellence. Get that out of your head. There's no such thing as comfort and excellence. You are going to have to engage 
life and understand that there's only so many excuses you're going to be able to make and you're going to at some point answer the bell or you will have lived an entire life of mediocrity an entire life of registering in at average and you're going to get to a point and realize that i'm just existing i'm not living I'm existing. Why? Because I won't engage the challenges of life. You're going to have to stop that thief, procrastination, from stealing your time. You're going to have to tap into your potential. You're going to have to take a serious look at yourself and determine, I'm about to make a move. I'm about to do something exceptional. I'm about to do something extraordinary. I'm about to live life at the next level. I will not be paralyzed by procrastination. There are steps that I will teach you in this masterclass that will show you, first and foremost, how to literally train yourself to take action. It, just like you train yourself not to take action, to look for every reason in the world not to do something until you just absolutely have to do it, you can train yourself to take action. Not when it's convenient for you, not when it's comfortable, but when it's necessary. Click the link, enroll now, reserve your space. We are going to get deep into it. You're going to be able to ask questions. And anybody who has actually followed me or worked with me before knows that this is an unbelievable value uh, when you consider what it normally takes to get with me. I want everybody to take advantage of this because procrastination is the number one thief of time. You're giving up precious seconds every day that you'll never get back. Let me help you recover and do what you need to do. On that note, I'm gonna get off of here, enroll. Let's make some crazy things happen in 2020. Real quickly, with everything that's going on, with, with, with all the pandemics and the economic uh, uncertainty and everything, did you realize how fast 2020 went by? Don't let your last, don't let your life pass you by in that same manner. Take action, make every second count, live life to the fullest. Be accountable to yourself to fulfill your potential. That's my challenge to you. As I always say, I'm gonna live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. Simply put, I'm not leaving any, uh, any potential untapped. That's my challenge to you. On that note, I'm out of here. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Talk Real about talk, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.